there are two different modes of margin that seems to cause a lot of confusion or at least a lot of misunderstanding. A lot of people just unclear about what these two modes mean. So I'm going to try to explain that in this video. Essentially, there are isolated and cross margins. Isolated margin and cross margin are two different margin types available on many crypto trading platforms. In isolated margin, investors decide how much funds to allocate as collateral for a specific position and the rest of the account balances are not affected by this trade. Cross margin uses all available funds in your account as collateral for all trades. If one position move against you, but another position is in profit, the profit can be used to cover the loss, allowing you to keep your positions open longer. The choice between isolated and cross boils down to you, your individual trading strategy, risk tolerance, and how actively you wish to manage your positions. We're gonna quickly go over the pros and cons, show you some examples of what it looks like when you enter a trade and then the stop loss differences and really who should be using these and the best time to use these. But at the end of the day, it is up to you. It is up to your trading strategy, your risk management. So isolated again, pretty easy to understand, right? A certain amount of margin. So if you are using 25% of your account, that margin, 25% of your account is locked up into that specific trade. It is isolated to that specific individual trade. If that margin, so if you're using 25% of your account, if that margin falls below your liquidation level or maintenance level, that 25% of your capital will be liquidated in only that 25%. Now you can add more margin to the position to give you some more room if you want to. Now in cross margin mode, margin will be shared across all positions, your entire account balance. So in this case, $51,470, whatever position you enter, it is using your entire account balance. So in the event of liquidation, you might lose all your margin and positions settled using the asset. Let's do some examples here. So let's take a look at cross margin, 10% trade, so 10%, so I'm using $5,000 essentially of margin and 10% stop loss uh, just, just for this video, right? So I'm gonna open up my long position, 36,809. My liquidation price, 18,507. So pretty decent liquidation price, right? Because it's using my entire account balance to back that up. So I'm gonna go ahead and confirm this position and we are in a trade at the moment. So now let's say we want to open up another trade. We want to go long on Solana again, 10%. I'm going to do my long minus 10%. So just 10% position on Solana. So I want to open up a long again, cross. You can't have both open at the same time, believe it or not, because your entire account now is in a cross position. So there's my stop loss. There's my liquidation price. Again, it is good. So I'm going to go ahead and confirm this and get into the trade. So if one of these hits the liquidation price, my entire account is going to be liquidated. I haven't really seen an exchange that allows you to use unrealized gains for margin and MEXC is no exception. So you cannot use unrealized gains for margin. I'm sure there's an exchange out there that does allow you to do that. Uh, MEXC is not one of them. And, and there's arguments both way at the end of the day, you, you work with what you got. Now let's take a look at isolated modes. So this one's pretty simple. It's probably what you guys are most familiar with. 10% openable quantity. Let's go long on Bitcoin again. So let's go back 10%. Probably not gonna actually enter into a trade here, 10. Let's open along. So I'm using 10% of my account again, $5,100, something like that. You can see that my liquidation price much, much higher. So before it was like, what was it? 18,000, something like that versus 35,000. Cause I'm still only using $5,100 margin. This is an isolated position. I'm only using $5,100. It's not using my entire account. Cross leverage uses your full account balance as margin. Obviously it gets you the lowest liquidation price, but if you're liquidated, you lose your full account balance. Each position you alter has an effect on all other positions. So you really need to be careful if you run multiple trades at the same time. I generally do not recommend cross leverage unless you really know what you're doing in our highly experienced. Isolated is safer. 
A question that often comes up, I am currently running a cross trade and the liquidation price is really, really low. That's one of the benefits. Isn't it all right if I just set a stop loss at an acceptable price so that I do not lose everything? Well, as long as your stop loss works and the slippage is minimal, then yes. But some people can't use stop market orders and use stop limits. High volatility can bypass those orders entirely. Your stop loss can be blown through. Even stop market orders can be subject to high slippage sometimes. For these two reasons, using isolated leverage with a liquidation price just below your stop loss can further protect you. Profit and loss are not affected by which margin mode you are using. However, profit and loss percentage and ROI will be affected because these calculations include margin. The benefit of a cross account is particularly useful in volatile markets that are witnessing extreme fluctuations, whereby the predictability of margin requirements is difficult to gauge. This is especially true for long-term strategies implemented by traders and investment funds. Cross-margin trading is a great way to avoid small market price movements that would have closed a position with isolated margin instead of having a predefined amount of funds for margin, which may close your trade if exhausted. Your entire account balance can be used as margin. So in a nutshell, cross-margin uses your entire account balance, your entire futures account balance as the margin you get a greater liquidation price, meaning your liquidation is going to come a lot later where isolated, it comes a lot sooner. Isolated, it's just whatever amount of funds you're using. So if you're using 10% of your account, that's only the amount that can be liquidated. You still need to do all of your traditional risk management, stop losses, manage the position. Cross margin is great if you're building longer term positions. Maybe you want to go long, from a bottom of a market or what you think is a bottom of a market and you want that extra buffer or you want to manage multiple positions, it is a good option. I still recommend isolated for new traders. It is easier. It is less risky for new traders. I hope you have a little bit of a better understanding of cross versus isolated margin. Now do me a favor, smash that thumbs up button, turn notifications, subscribe to the channel. And then hop in Discord, discord.gg slash DeFi Rebels, where we post the alpha, the plays, we're teaching people how to trade. It's just a good all-around community. Give us a shot. And then last but not least, we got a promotion going on right now, MEXC Global. It's our preferred trading platform. You can get up to a $1,000 beginner reward and 10% permanent kickback on your commission, permanent 10% off, as well as 50% off for holding some MEXC tokens, lowest trading fees in the industry, most altcoins out there. Love it. Appreciate you guys, and we'll see you next time. <laughs>